Um, our last presenter tonight is John Schaefer, a local architect with more than 30 years of experience in the field, the vast majority of which uh, has been through the operation of his own firm, John Schaefer uh, and Associates. John's firm uh, designs uh, buildings that range the gamut from residential to commercial to institutional structures. Uh, John is also a native of Springfield and is deeply committed to the future of, the, uh, the future of our community, uh, which is evident by all of the things that he uh, participates and volunteers his time with. Please welcome John. Well, I found out the definition of uh, the Chaka Cha is chit chat, so we're going to hear 20 slides of chit chat here. From, <laughs> as I go through. So, um, what I'm going to present are some ideas for downtown. There's basically four different kind of schemes, and one just general purpose idea that I'm going to go, kind of go over with. I think the big thing that I want to get across is that all this takes a certain amount of planning, funding, all that type of stuff. But downtown, I think, is really important for our community. It's kind of like the living room of downtown. So the first thing, this is an idea for a homeless shelter. This is 5th Street. This is 4th Street. This is the Washington Street Mission, St. John's Breadline. What we're proposing is to repurpose two buildings, the old Ace Sign Company building here, and a building that used to be an a and grocery store years and years ago. And then this is a view from the uh, north, west, northeast of the repurposed building here. Uh, this is only a new construction here, which would house some housing. This would be a sign company with some green space here. And this is the Washington Street Mission. Again, this is 5th Street. This is 4th Street in the general area. So as the plan goes, social services would be housed in this building here off 5th of Street. The housing point and a new entry, which would tie this together, uh, this new construction building with this building, and then the uh, green space here, and then the old A sign company tearing down a little bit of that, this part here tearing down, making this green space, turning this into dining, uh, social services, and health center. Again, here's the Washington Street Mission. This is Forest Street. This is the new construction. This would be the entry tying in on a very seldom used street along this area here, repurposing two buildings. The next one is, I gotta move faster. This is the Third Street Trail, uh, some existing photos, the overpass right now on Capitol Avenue, a back in. This is the Y, which is intended to be tore down, and I'm not sure the, the merits of that. The train station, which would be repurposed, because it's no longer needed as that. So this is a map from uh, South Grand to Carpenter Street. The arrows indicate which roads are through streets right now. The other streets have been blocked off as part of the high-speed rail network. And whether that continues on or what else is going to happen with that, uh, there's a lot of money being spent right now on overpasses. And I would suggest that we ought to start planning a lot on this trail. This is the idea for an overlook on Capitol Avenue, maybe expanding the width of that so that you get this fantastic view on axis of the Capitol building. And the only elevated portion along that whole area here because of this being the, the underpass is there. And this is just kind of a quick section. What's interesting, uh, a lot of these areas, the railroad really owns from here to here. So as this gets repurposed, some areas have streets on both sides. Some areas don't have streets on both sides. There's different fence opportunities that's been built as part of the high-speed rail, a variety of conditions. This next one is just kind of a catch-all slide. So the state complex is a big neighbor to the west of downtown, obviously. They've just started some planning funds for the armory building here. What I would suggest, and I know we have several council members here, that we ought to have a city council committee, committee that liaisons with the state on what they're going to do and get proactive with the whole state complex. This is a, a one block area. It's called Sangamon Alley on Google Maps. And it's from 5th Street to 6th Street with the Hoagland Center at the end. This is kind of from the North Mansion Block area. This is kind of a picture of mid-block. Our concept for this is to make this a little bit less of a street and more of a, of a pathway, focusing on the Hoagland Center, which I think is one of the jewels of downtown at this point. Change the paving out just for that one block stretch. Is that all it is? It still would be uh, accessed for parking. There's a lot of parking issues. So here's the map of that saying alley. North Mansion Block here, the Hogan Center here, 6th Street, 5th Street, and they have a series of arches and maybe make a green wall. There's existing green space right now, so make a, a nice little pocket park right through there. There's a parking area here, maybe put in some permanent pavers along through there. 
And this is a view from the North Mansion block, kind of looking on and centering on axis on the Hoagland Center through there, get some lighting in through there, similar to what's been done on a portion of Jackson Street by the uh, Richard <coughs> Plaza, but a different design effect, and again, changing it a little bit from the street. And this last project is one you may have seen. This was a, our response to an RFP that the city had for the North Mansion block, which really kind of followed all of the RFP requirements of the thing, but was not chosen as a thing. But this is a mixed use because uh, what I think for downtown to be successful is you've got to get more people. And this, this house is, this particular one housed 100 apartments on the top three floors, mixed use on the ground floor, including a, a restaurant, some other features. So this is a view from the North Mansion block with uh, two different small playgrounds, a um, stage and a seating area. And that might have been this bag right here. So this is a big courtyard park that's wrapped around by a U-shaped building. And then with arches coming through here off the Capitol, coming through here off that same alley that I just talked about, the Hoagland Center. This would be an amphitheater with a view to the Capitol building, a dog park. And so this is a view from the arch from Capitol Avenue, looking down on access to the uh, governor's mansion. This arch here would be the one looking towards Sangamon Alley down to the Hoagland Center. So it's very formidable, very accessible. And if you notice the success of the summer concert series, all that can be included in this area. It works perfect for all that stuff, along with uh, a little restroom space, a food truck space, a dog park, a toddler playground, a bigger kids playground, a courtyard space for this, three floors of apartments, restaurants, mixed use space, downstairs some parking. Um, and this is just kind of a recap of all the different concepts. The homeless shelter was repurposing two buildings in the general area where a lot of uh, homeless services are right now. The Third Street Trail, the Capitol Complex, which I think the state is right now getting ready to spend some serious money on that. Yeah, that's good.